This is one of my favorite new arborvitas that's just come out on the market. It's a plant patent number 19267 from Ball Ornamentals. It's called Forever Goldie. And it is a western red cedar type of arborvita. We grow these from small liners that we buy. We have to buy these because it's plant patented. And we pay a plant patent fee for each arborvita that we grow and raise and sell. We put these in small pots and pot them up and then we will pot them out in the field and we will also have them in larger three gallon pots for sale. This plant is an excellent plant for your patio or the back of a border. It has great orange color in the fall. It's upright, drought tolerant. It's an evergreen featuring scented foliage and it has heat resistance. Oh, what more could you ask for? Yes, it is good for borders, screens, garden beds, landscapes, and large mixed containers. It grows to 15 to 20 feet with a spread of 3 to 4 foot. And incidentally, unlike the Green Giant, which is zone hardy to zone 5, this is zone hardy to zone 4. So it has even better cold hardiness than the Green Giant. So give us a call if you want some at Highland Hill Farm. We're on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA, and we do deliver and plant the Forever Goldie Arborvita. After potting up the Forever Goldies, we bring them over to a greenhouse and set them in the greenhouse. About a f four or five days after we bring them over, we will straighten them up again, and then we'll put some pre-emergent herbicide on them so that we don't have very much weed control to do. It's a very easy plant to grow, and you can come to us at 5275 West Swamp Road, Fountainville, PA, for all your tree needs. Thank you. Skip laurels make a nice hedge in a somewhat shady area in zones six, seven, and eight. Skip laurels are easy to grow when properly cared for. They can grow robustly in the summer up to a foot a year. They grow to about 10 feet tall and they have a nice shiny leaf, almost like a rhododendron leaf. The skip laurel's new growth has sort of a yellow tinge to the top, but it darkens as it gets older. It is a fine addition in the fact that it does not suffer from a lot of deer damage, so a lot of northeast landscapes use them. Just don't plant them too late in the fall as they can suffer winter burn, and make sure they stay moist, not wet, not dry, and don't plant them in a wetlands because they are definitely not a wetlands shrub. They are easy to grow, and we have these 30 to 36 inch plants for you here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. This is Mr. Instant Privacy. Yes, you can have instant privacy when you plant the Emerald Arborvita. It's a narrow pyramidal evergreen displaying dense emerald foliage. It holds its color well throughout the winter. It's an excellent medium to large screening hedge or privacy shrub. It usually grows to about 12 to 15 feet tall, but can be kept and maintained from 6 to 12 foot as you so desire. Its only major drawback is that it is deer eaten. If you have a lot of deer, it's not the plant for you. Also, it needs full sun and does not like wet soils. If you need some, call us at Highland Hill Farm. These are two foot emerald greens at Highland Hill Farm. They're in number three pots and they're ready for pickup. Give us a call if you need any, 215-651-8329. Thank you. This field of green giants was planted about a month ago and in this field of 500 green giants that we planted we only lost two and they were both on the end. This one died and this one over here died and the reason these died was we had a fox and as strange as it may sound the fox killed them but how did the fox kill them? Well 
what the fox did was he chewed on the water line and then we had to make a splice in the water line so it shortened the water line because we didn't have uh, extra tubing with us at the time when we spliced and re repaired the line so the lines did not come all the way to the end of the rows and because of that when we put the drip water onto the trees these two at the end of the rows did not get sufficient amounts of water and that's why they died so the fox killed these two but we expect to have losses and it's okay especially if it's a fox now if it were from a rabbit we'd be very upset we'd want to shoot it in fact we would if it was from a deer we'd kill it but the most important thing and critical thing in growing these arborvitaes, especially if you plant them like these were in the middle of the summer, is to make sure you have a water system on it so that you can properly water the trees. You can't expect a consistent and uniform result on your trees if you don't have proper watering. So if you have any questions on growing green giant arborvitaes or other arborvitaes, give us a call at Highland Hill Farm. We grow thousands of arborvitaes and we specialize in the giant green arborvitae.